All right, so I got the uh, got Dan's birthday present done. So now I'm working on. I have a little bit of time, and because I haven't gotten a lot of copper, I want to get the. Uh, so I got it sketched, scratched, and now I'm lining a damn platypus. Yep, a duckbill platypus. Um, inspired by, certainly not trying to copy, but inspired by uh, what Jim would call blackfella art, because that's what they call a folk down there, uh, aborigines, but that's really a question begging term. I just went away from there. Anyway, um, so this is off some recycled copper. Um, it's gonna have some scratches and things that I can't take out in it, but that is the nature of the beast. So there's Jim's platypus. So I got the uh, brooch face plate done. I still gotta build the pen. That's no big deal these days. Yeah, it's, that's uh, supposed to be a duckbill platypus. Maybe I should put the pen on sideways since it's for a weird guy named Jim anyway. <laughs> yeah, Jim, I know you watch these. You weirdo. I'm a duckbill platypus. Um, you know, I think it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, so, it uh, came out good, I think. And uh, I hope he likes it. Gotta make the pen now. Maybe I should make it go on weirdo like like that instead of the vertical ones like I've been doing. I might go weirdo on this one. See how that works out. Nah, I'll just go a long ways. Normal way I do it. Oh man, that's so weird. Never, never would have thought I'd make a duckbill platypus uh, uh, hand-hammered copper brooch. Weird.